Croatia's haunted castles and best spooky tours. One of the most famous haunted castles in Croatia is Trakoskan Castle, located in northern Croatia. Legend has it that the ghost of Countess Isabella Draskovic, who once lived in the castle, still haunts its halls to this day. Another haunted castle in Croatia is Ozal Castle, located in central Croatia. According to local legend, the ghost of Countess Jelena Zrinski, who was imprisoned and died in the castle in the 17th century, still haunts the castle today. Nhaj Castle, located in the town of Say on the Adriatic coast, is also said to be haunted by the ghost of a knight who was killed during a battle in the 16th century. Bezanic Castle, this castle is located in the Zagreb region and is believed to be haunted by the ghost of an unknown woman who appears in white. Castle Trusat, this castle is located in Rijeka, and is believed to be haunted by the ghost of a noble woman, who was murdered there in the 16th century. Castle Jalski, this castle is located in the Zagreb region, and is believed to be haunted by the ghost of a peasant woman, who was accused of witchcraft and executed there. Castle Stari Grad, this castle is located in the town of Pakrats and is believed to be haunted by the ghost of a Turkish soldier who was killed there during a battle in the 16th century. Castle Sokolak, this castle is located in the town of Bringe and is believed to be haunted by the ghost. These haunted castles offer a unique and spooky experience for visitors who are interested in the paranormal and the history of Croatia. There are several spooky tours in Croatia. It takes visitors to some of the country's most haunted castles, towns, and areas. Zagreb Ghost Tour takes visitors to haunted spots in the city of Zagreb, including cemeteries, abandoned buildings, and the city's medieval upper town. Dubrovnik Ghost Tour is the most spooky and haunted, including the city's ancient walls, deserted alleyways, and abandoned buildings. Istria Ghost Tour takes visitors to haunted castles and towns in the Istria region. Castle of Pazin is said to be haunted by the ghost of a witch. 4. Split Ghost Tour takes visitors to haunted locations in the city of Split, including the ancient Diocletian's Palace. Can I walk about or do I need a tour guide in Croatia? It depends on where you are planning to visit in Croatia. You can walk around and explore most of the popular tourist destinations on your own. Hiring a tour guide can be beneficial. Guided hours can provide in-depth information. Ultimately, whether you choose to explore on your own or with a guide. If you like this video please subscribe and will give notice of future videos. Croatia has several castles located throughout the country. Dubrovnik's old city walls rise over 7 meters out of the Adriatic Sea, and they stand as a symbol of the city that has survived through centuries of siege battles, invasions, and occupations. The Trakoskan Castle is a Gothic-style castle located in the city of Šibenik. The castle was built in the 14th century and it has been used as a military fortress and prison, among other things. The Leaky Tabor Castle is a hilltop fort in the city of Velika Gorica, Slovenia. It's a popular tourist attraction, and is now part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Early Medieval Monuments. Vajdin Castle is a historic monument located in the center of Vajdin, the largest town in Slavonia. It was built by Stefan Tivitko I, King of Croatia and Dalmatia, on the place where according to legend an ancient castle stood. The Elts Castle is a famous medieval castle situated in the area of Elts, which is located close to Koblenz. 
This castle was first mentioned in 1247 when it was built by the Prince Bishop of Trier Baldwin V as his residence. This amazing fortress has an interesting history, and is known for its beautiful gardens and terraces. Briber Castle is located in the area of Dubrovnik, Croatia. The castle sits on a rocky hill overlooking the city and is surrounded by walls that are almost 30 meters high. Nhaj Castle is a beautiful medieval castle in the region of Lika in Croatia. The castle can be reached by following the signs towards Gornja Brezna, which will lead you right to the entrance. These castles offer visitors a chance to learn about the country's history, architecture, and culture, and many are open to the public for tours and events. Here are some of the top questions people ask about Croatia. What are the best places to visit in Croatia? Some of the best places to visit in Croatia include Dubrovnik, Split, Hvar, Plitvice Lakes National Park, and Zagreb. Croatia is a beautiful country with a lot to offer. Here are some top things to do in Croatia. Visit Dubrovnik. This stunning walled city on the Adriatic Sea is famous for its picturesque old town, Baroque architecture, and Game of Thrones filming locations. Explore Plitvice Lakes National Park. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to a series of interconnected lakes and waterfalls connected by wooden walkways. Relax on the beaches, Croatia has many beautiful beaches, such as Latni Rat, Punta Rata, and Stiniva Beach. Visit the Diocletian's Palace in Split, this ancient palace is one of the most impressive Roman ruins in the world and is located in the heart of Split. Go Island Hopping, Croatia has over a thousand islands, each with its own unique character and charm. Some of the most popular islands to visit include Havar, Korkula, and Brak. Visit the ancient city of Pula, located in Istria, Pula is home to the impressive Roman amphitheatre, which is one of the best preserved Roman amphitheatres in the world. Go wine tasting in Istria, Istria is famous for its wine production, and there are many wineries that offer tours and tastings. Visit the Kruka National Park, this beautiful national park is home to a series of waterfalls, including the famous Skradinsky Book Waterfall. Go sea kayaking, there are many opportunities for sea kayaking in Croatia, including around the beautiful Ilapiti Islands near Dubrovnik. Visit the town of Rovinj, this picturesque town on the Istrian peninsula is famous for its colorful houses, cobbled streets, and beautiful harbor. What is the currency in Croatia, and how much to stay one week? The currency in Croatia is the Croatian Kuna, HRK. The expenses of staying in Croatia for a week can vary depending on the type of accommodation you choose. The activities you participate in, and the cities or islands you visit. Here is a rough estimate of the expenses you may incur per week. Budget accommodation, hostels, basic hotels, vacation rentals, 500 USD 800. Midrange accommodation, 3 to 4 star hotels, private apartments, 800 to 1500 US dollars. Luxury accommodation, 5 star hotels, villas, 1500 to 5000 US dollars. Other expenses to consider. Food and drink, 200 USD 400. Transportation, rental car, public transit, ferries, 100 USD 300. Activities and sightseeing, 100 USD 300. Overall, you can expect to spend around 1,200 to 2,000 US dollars per week on a mid-range budget. But this can vary depending on your travel style and preferences.
What language do they speak in Croatia, and do they speak English? The official language of Croatia is Croatian. And yes, English is widely spoken and understood in Croatia, especially in tourist areas. Many Croatians speak English fluently, and it is common for signs, menus, and other information to be available in English. However, many phrases in Croatian such as hi is easy to say, bok, also thank you is good to know, hvala, and probably a real important one is please, molim. One of the many ways to show appreciation for our local language. And culture is through cultural adaptations that make it easier to understand. What is the best time of year to visit Croatia? The best time to visit Croatia is generally from May to September, when the weather is warm and sunny. Do I need a visa to visit Croatia? Citizens of most countries, including the US, EU, and Canada, do not need a visa to enter Croatia for stays up to 90 days. Is Croatia safe for tourists and is the war over? Yes, the war between Croatia and Serbia ended in 1995, and since then Croatia has become a popular tourist destination, welcoming millions of visitors every year. The country is generally safe for tourists, with low crime rates and a well-developed tourism industry. However, some areas, particularly those close to the border with Serbia, may still have landmines left over from the conflict, so it's important to stay on marked paths and avoid venturing off-road in rural areas. Additionally, political tensions between the two countries may still exist, but this is unlikely to impact tourists. Overall, Croatia is considered a safe place to visit for tourists. Croatia is generally a safe country for tourists, with low crime rates and a well-developed tourism industry. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to help me grow my channel.